In this presentation, we're going to look at the Weibull distribution. And what we're going to look at in particular is using the method of moments, uh, which is a very straightforward procedure, really. And what we're going to do is use the method of moments to estimate the parameters of the Weibull distribution. OK, so this is the two. This is the two key pieces of information we're given. The median claim amount is 1000 and 90 percent of the claims are less than 5000. Actually, let's just read the question properly. This is sort of has an actuarial dimension to it. Claim amounts on a portfolio of insurance policies follow a Weibull distribution. The median claim amount is $1,000, that should say, and 90% of the claims are less than $5,000. Okay. Now, the key thing here really is to get a proper sense of the parameters that we are looking at. Okay. Now, in the first instance, uh, the main parameters are the scale parameter and the shape parameter okay lambda and k and this is the cumulative distribution function down here okay uh, cumulative distribution function is uh, 1 minus the exponential of minus x divided by lambda to the power of k now what we're going to do here is something that's slightly different what we can do here is reparameterize it or express the Weibull distribution in terms of a different parameterization where we have the shape parameter k, which is the same as before, and a, a re expression of the scale parameter we have used a thing called b, and that is equal to lambda to the minus k. Okay, so essentially, this is a for calculations, this approach is actually easier, particularly for the method of moments. And this sort of parameterization will be more familiar to a lot of people, and probably actuaries and financial math students. OK, and so this is the one we're going to use. Now, the key thing here is that the cumulative distribution function is as follows. OK, one minus the exponential of minus B X the K. So that's actually a more straightforward uh, calculation. So. Essentially, what we have there is B and K. And what's really a reasonably straightforward uh, calculation. Just actually as a remark, the median here is lambda times log of natural log of 2 to the power of 1 over K. Now, we might make use of that later on. OK, so my game plan here is to find out what B is and what K is. And later on, find out what lambda is. Okay. So we have the cumulative distribution functions. Uh, we have 0 0.5 and 0 0.9. So the median is 1,000. And so that means the cumulative distribution function has a value of 0.5. 50 percent is less than the median. So you have 1 minus the exponential of minus b times 1,000 to the power of k. Okay. And that is equal to 0 0.5. The second expression here is 1 minus the exponential of minus b times 5,000 to the power of k equals 0 0.9. So very straightforward al uh, al uh, algebraic and mathematical uh, simplifications will get us here. OK, get the logarithm of both sides and subtract from 1 and then negate it and so on. So we have b equal b times 1000 to the power of k that is equal to minus log of natural log of 0 0.5 b times 5000 to the power of k that is equal to the natural log minus the natural log of 0 0.1. So essentially let's just look at the left hand side we have two expressions and we, on each side we have um two expressions on each side basically so what we're going to do is divide one equation by the other which is say divide one side by uh, the side in one term by the other term on that same side essentially so we have b divided by 1000 to the power of k uh, sorry b times 1000 to the power of k divided by b times 5000 to the power of k that is b times 1000 divided by b times 5000 all to the power of k that is 0 0.2 so this is essentially the left hand side here okay and we have the right hand side over here and um, we can just ignore the side minus uh, the minus signs 
log of 0 0.5 divided by the log of 0 0.1, that gives us essentially 0 0.301. So that means 0 0.2 to the power of k equals 0 0.301, okay? And just using logarithm, the laws of logarithms, essentially we should get k equals 0 0.746. Now, based on that, what we can do there is solve for b, okay? Using one of those expressions there, b is equal to minus log of 0 0.5 divided by 1,000 times, or 1,000 to the power of 0 0.746, and we should get an answer there of 0 0.00401, okay? Now, actually, for the most, uh, the most part, that would actually be a, a sufficient answer but let's just see if we can determine what lambda is okay now essentially what I'm going to do here is uh, use the expression for the median and we know that the median is 1000 okay so essentially I'm just using this here this expression here now mathematically it's not all that different from what we have above but I'm just we have this in the formula sheet let's use it okay so we know that k is equal to 0 0.746 uh, so the log of 2 to the power of 1 divided by 0 0.746 that's not a hard calculation that is 0 0.61182 okay so lambda times 0 0.61182 equals 1000 that means lambda is equal to uh, 1634.468 and you can just double check that that does lambda to the power of minus k should give you b okay now again squiggly there that uh, equals means approximation means rounding error will come up a lot okay that's why i sort of am generous with the decimal places quite often like here just to help you sort of see how close you are all right that's good we'll leave it there